What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Last of Us, episode number seven. This one's called Left Behind, yeah. which, for y'all game players, you know what's up. It's definitely something that I sort of remember, but played through it pretty quickly and a while ago. So again, just like everything that we've seen play out in this show, it's some stuff remembered, some stuff gets triggered, and then you get remembered. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. And coming off an episode where things are a little intense... Joel got impaled. He got stabbed by, like, a broken bat after getting into a fight with a bunch of dudes at the university when they kind of went searching for the fireflies, and yeah. no one was there. Nope. And, Empty. Yeah, and so Ellie got, got Joel up on the horse, and they started riding, and he ended up falling off, and they left that us with a beautiful cliffhanger. so sad, though. Like, and scary. Uh, uh, ugh. Oh, man. I mean, this show has definitely done a good job implementing that kind of stuff. And yeah. this was another one of those episodes where I feel like if there's going to be awards won, I feel like Pedro's going to win one for this episode. Because the conversations that he had with Tommy, the conversation that he had with Ellie, like Bella and Joel, and I don't know what Tommy, the, the actor's name is, but they all were friggin' amazing in this episode. I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I haven't seen a bad episode yet, so... Yeah, and I mean, just the delivery, the dialogue, the story, the emotion, it's all there, and they're just absolutely crushing it. And I don't know if this is considered a spoiler, but if you do consider anything spoilery, you could jump ahead a little bit. But I'm loving this version of Joel just for the fact that, like, I mean, you play video games and characters, are they tend to be like superheroes in the video games. And right. I mean, unless you play like me and you die a million times, like, it's just the way it goes. Me too. And can't shoot for shit. Yeah. It, I mean, controller shooting is difficult. Once once you've gotten comfortable with, like, mouse and keyboard shooting, like, shooting with a controller is really hard. But they've really made Joel more human. He made him more realistic, I feel like, in this show. He's showing his age. He's having moments of PTSD, specifically in this last episode. And well, I'm, I'm way more connected to this Joel than the video game Joel. It's just, he, he's, I feel like he's a little bit more relatable in this situation, the way that they've kind of played this out. And just, again, showing his age and showing that he's slowing down a little bit. And dude's been through a lot. He has been through a lot. And just like the fact that he's questioning whether he can take care of Ellie, it makes total sense because he lost his daughter at the very beginning of this apocalypse. And like the idea that he's all these years later responsible for another child, essentially, yeah. like the doubt's going to creep into your mind, regardless of how badass you are. And getting, as getting older, especially yeah, as someone who still participates in technically a young man's sport with doing like jujitsu and stuff like my mind. Yeah. might be able to tell me like, Oh yeah, you could keep up with those 20. Like you can't keep up with them. And like the reality of this world is so intense. And I just like that. We're really kind of seeing a more realistic version of Joel in the show. Because again, I think under these circumstances and everything that they've dealt with, I feel like it makes a lot of sense. And We'll see where it goes, but I've been singing the praises of this show since it started. I think mm -hmm. it's awesome. I think the storytelling has been fantastic. The delivery Agreed. and the performances have all been yes. amazing. Yes. I would like a little bit more action. I think it would be great if we saw more infected, more clickers, more bloaters running around and getting into more fights and kind of doing more scavenging type of shit. But, you know, this is a show. Everything that happens in the game is not necessarily going to play out in, in a TV show. Right. And you have to make it make sense. Yeah, 100%. And I feel like they are, like... I'm like, we're at the DLC. It it does feel like they're like flying through this story. Yeah, it feels faster, definitely. <laughs> it definitely feels, well, uh, maybe that's just because of how slow I play the game because I die so much again. I mean, whatever. Playthroughs are down below if you want to enjoy those, by the way. Um, yeah, so th those are maybe like my two little critiques if I had them. But everything else that's happening in this show is absolutely overwhelming anything that I might be complaining about at all. Like everything else is so good. The visuals and just everything about it is just so great that my little nitpicks don't really matter that much because yeah. again, I'm enjoying those shows so much and I'm loving just the way this show has been adapted from the game into television because they've changed a lot. They've adapted a lot. They've kept some stuff literally word for word, which I think is awesome. I love that. Like there were moments in the last episode where Literally word for word, and they killed it. They delivered it so well. 
and there's some stuff that's been changed and I like their way of kind of like teasing some stuff. We got to see Jackson, which was pretty cool. I love that part. Yeah. Oh my God. It looks identical. So good. And, and there's a lot of little nuggets that they kind of dropped in that last episode specifically. That's going to definitely pop up later where, you know, you played the game. You're like, oh. I know who that is. Oh, I know what that is. I know what's going to happen there. But. Like, really, really sneaky and subtle. Well, we're not going to, you know. Of course. We won't be spoiling anything yeah. for any of the non-game players. We are doing our best to keep it spoiler-free for those who are watching and absorbing this content for the very first time. So, hopefully we're doing a good job. I feel like, I feel like I've been pretty vague about a lot of stuff, so. I hope we're doing good. Yeah, even ready? though I've watched other people that have not played the game that have talked about this show, and I'm like, you don't even know, okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, you don't even know. That part true, too. Yeah. So it's kind of funny yes. seeing all different sides of those who have seen it, who haven't played it, who have played it, watching this for the first time. Like, the perspectives are so much fun, and yeah, yeah it's been great so far. Yeah. And, of course, we can't jump into an episode of The Last of Us without one of Nikki's dad jokes, so... Take it away! Dad Joke Central. Okay. Did you hear about the sad wedding cake? I did not hear about the sad wedding cake. It was in tears. <laughs> tears. T-I-E-R-S. Got it. Tears. Yes. Wedding cakes tears. are in tears, yes. That makes a lot of sense. You're welcome. All right. You ready for the episode? Yes. Let's go. Oh, honey. <laughs> Good baby. <laughs> Shake that off. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Honey, you gotta help me. Come on. Leave. Shut up, Joe. Take the gun. Joe, shut the fuck up! Go. You go north. You go to town. You go. Shit. Dude, how horrifying would it be to be left alone, stabbed in the stomach like that? Yeah. Then pick up your pace. I'm not running doubles again because of your shitty attitude. I don't want to fight about it. You don't fight. Your friend fights. She's not here anymore, is she? Yeah, girl. <laughs> What's going on? Bethany started it. Well, Bethany's in the infirmary with 15 stitches. Good. I put you in the hole three times. It doesn't work. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're smart, Ellie. You're so smart, you're stupid. Two paths ahead of you. First path, you keep acting like a grunt so you get the life of a grunt. Up at dawn, walk the streets, walk the wall. You eat shit food, you do shit jobs, you take shit orders from your patrol leader, who will probably be Bethany. And that'll be your life from now until you catch a bullet from a firefly, or fall drunk off a roof, or get your hair caught in a moving tank tread. Shit. There's the other path. You swallow this pride of yours as you become an officer. You get your own room, you get a nice bed. We eat well, we don't go on patrol. We're cool in the summer, we're warm in the winter, and best of all, when you're an officer, you get to tell the Bethany's of the world exactly where to shove it. Word. <laughs> I care because no matter what anyone out there says or thinks, we're the only thing holding this all together. If we go down, the people in this zone will starve or murder each other. That much I know. There's a leader in you. And one day it could be your turn. Or not. So which way? Keys. Obviously. I mean, between those two choices, I don't know who would take the, the mug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is creepy as shit. <laughs> Ow. Riley! Where have you been? What the fuck is wrong with you sneaking up on me like that? It was a joke. I thought it would work better. In my mind, you loved it. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I've been gone for three weeks. I should fucking stab you. Oh, I appreciate your mercy. If you're going through some shit, you're supposed to, I don't know, talk to your best friend about it. It came back. 
I joined the Fireflies. Oh, fuck you. You're a Firefly? Jesus. Told you I'd fucking do it. Talking about liberating the QC is not the same as... Fuck, where did you even... Slow down. Slow down. I will tell you everything. How is everybody not hearing all this? Come with me for a few hours and have the best night of your life. Okay. No. Okay, now say yes. I'm not going anywhere with you. It's 2 a.m. and in a few hours I have drills where we learn to kill fireflies. We were thinking about hanging in the park. We can't go there. It's a new patrol where they just put in. We're not going to the park. So where are we going? Secret. You trust me, right? I don't know. Should I trust you? Of course you should, with your life. <laughs> Maybe you should stop fucking with Beth and Are you telling me not to beat people up? You put Carol in the infirmary for a fucking week. You can't fight everything and everyone. You can pick and choose what's important. Are they teaching you this at Firefly University? Kinda. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Yeah. Is, is this the big surprise? No, this, this guy wasn't here yesterday. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Honestly. How disgusting. This isn't moonshine either. It's like from before. No one told him he couldn't mix pills with that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Is that the first dead body you ever saw? No. My parents. Can I hold your gun? Um, they kind of made me swear not to let other people handle my sidearm. I'm not to handle my sidearm because I'm such a fucking firefly. I got bored, so I snuck out. I was on my way back, and this chick popped out of nowhere. Chick like our age? No, like 40 or 50. Whatever, anyways, old. Fuck off. <laughs> she asked what I thought about Fedra, so I told her the truth. They're fascist dick bags, and they're the ones that should be getting hanged for their crimes. She's like, all right, if you want in, you're in. No weird initiations? Nope. I said yes, and now I'm a firefly. Well, in a way, Fedra kind of holds everything together. You know, as much as I love arguing with your stubborn ass, we're on a mission here. Oof, fuck. <laughs> ah, heights. Jumping across a building, I don't like it. I would slip and fall to my death. Okay, Spider-Man. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. My ass, whoop! You'd probably be fine. I would probably be fine. Those jumps weren't too big. The mall? You out of your fucking mind? They sealed that place off for a reason. It's full of infected. If it's sealed off, then why isn't it sealed off? <laughs> that would be horrifying, by honestly, the way. Honestly, honestly. It's like, I've seen some of those videos of like the deserted malls, like when there's not clickers running around. And it looks and That terrifying. shit's scary as hell. Mm -hmm. In this world, during an apocalypse, hell no! Right. And no one would see uh, that fucking place lit ball. up. <laughs> Probably not. That is pretty epic, though. What do you think? It's fucking... Wait. The lights. You saw outside. It's like a big bunker. No one can see shit but us. I mean, that would be dope as hell. Mm -hmm. Still scary as hell, but still. You plan stuff? <laughs> it looks fantastic. It does. No way. Electric stairs? <laughs> escalator. I hate the escalator. I feel like I'm gonna fucking get sucked in. No way. I love just something so simple as the escalator is <laughs> making her so happy. You didn't have to do anything. Just take her on the escalator. You're good. So this is the first wonder, right? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the simple things. <laughs> oh, you are just a graceful ballerina, but chop, chop. We're on a schedule. Okay. I mean, it would be impressive that everything still worked. And all the power still worked. 
Yeah, back in five minutes. Why are some of these stores empty and some not? My mom said when the outbreak happened, people started looting until the military shut it down. So the stuff that's gone is the stuff that people need it the most. So sneakers and not soap. I don't get why people back then wanted all this stuff. Do you need me to explain it to you? Ha ha, no, I know why. It just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> it is, girl. It's not meant for comfort. <laughs> I was just trying to imagine you wearing that. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. We're almost there. I would go back into the body shop and grab some soap. You'd be like the only person in the world smelling good. <laughs> Do you trust me? With my life, apparently. <laughs> oh, well then give me your hand. Almost there. Open your eyes. So cool. I love it. What? <laughs> it's fun watching someone experience something for the first time. It is. That's why kids are so awesome. Nothing. You're drunk. Not yet. Give me. <laughs> oh God, getting drunk and roll, uh, going round and round on the carousel? Hell no. Puke. I don't recognize that label at all. I can't, yeah. Did you really leave because you actually think you could liberate this place? They've done it in the other QZs. Set things right the way they used to be. Yeah, we could do that too. We're like the future. We could be running things. You could be running things. I turn 17 next month. That's when you get your assignment. You know what Kwan gave me? Sewage detail. <sighs> Standing guard while people shovel shit. That's what they think of me. That's fucked. You know, you're the one thing I miss from that fucking place. If that makes a difference. No? <laughs> Is that a time machine? <laughs> Man, if it was. <laughs> So cute. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I came prepared. Have you done this before? No, idiot. I was waiting to do it with you. Oh, oh shit. Uh, um, uh, what should we do? <laughs> Bunny ears? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> back to back? Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, fuck. Aww. That one's not bad. Do you like it? It's yours. I'm still, again, shocked that it even has any ability to take a photo anymore. That's nice, though. Listen. Oh, shoot. I went to the mall strictly for the arcade. The arcade was the best. <laughs> it's been an hour yesterday breaking this fucker open. Dude. Oh, my. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. So good. Oh, uh, wait, how do I play? Smash the buttons. Oh, there's so many of them. <sighs> yeah, did just squish. Just slap them all. Ow! Use the joystick. Okay. 
With the life that Ellie has lived and just growing up in this world and getting her first experience to play video games and like experience this stuff is amazing. I don't remember that part. <laughs> Fatality. Fatality. I don't think they played the games. No, no, I don't remember that part of Mortal Kombat. I've uh, heard like eating, ingesting him and spitting bones. That's her out. fatality. Every time you say fatality, you have to say it just like that. Shit. Oh shit. Dude, that shit looks so good. It's getting late. I have to wake up and make my bed soon. I just can't get in trouble again. But I'll be here tomorrow. I got you a gift. I do like gifts. Is it a dinosaur? Possibly. I mean... Make sure you ride the dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Make sure you ride it. Wait. Is it tacos? I don't think tacos would still be good, Ellie. Is this where you've been staying? Mostly. On your own? Volume two. Shut up! <laughs> we made a second one? Where did you get that? What did the frustrated cannibal do? Lay it on me. He threw up his hands. <laughs> I love these girls. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're so pointless. Oh my god, these are amazing! How does a computer get drunk? It takes screenshots. Hey -o! <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> they don't know what screenshots are. That's fucking hilarious. What do you call an alligator in a vest? Did you make these? Yes, Ellie. Put it down. You didn't find this mall, did you? They posted you here. You recruit guarding their stash? We would never use them on you. What do you mean we would ever use you? I would never let them do that. You would never let them? Right, and you think they're gonna listen to you? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Shit. None of this shit was even about me. Would you stop? Fuck you! Ellie, I'm leaving. They're sending me to a post in the Atlantic you see. I asked if you could join. But Marlene said no. Who the fuck is Marlene? Marlene is the lady that helped me get... It doesn't matter. Tonight's my last night in Boston. Why did you bring me here? Because I wanted to see you. And? And I wanted to say goodbye. This isn't easy, Ellie. It actually is. You just did. I thought you'd like this one the best, so I saved it for last. I guess I was stupid. I need to know the alligator in the vest joke. Damn it. You don't know what it was like to have a family, to belong. I mean, I didn't have them for long, but I had them. I belonged to them, and I want that again. Maybe yeah. the fireflies aren't what I think they are, but they chose me. I mattered to them. You mattered to me first. God damn it, I'm gonna punch you so bad. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I'll miss you. Well, mate's not over yet. One last thing. <sighs> I 
how much are sales of clown masks and wolf masks going to go up this year? Dancing on glass. I'm like, that can't be good. They're so cute. Just little kids. What? Don't go. Okay. Aww. I'm sorry. For what? Look at her smile. Aww. There's more stuff over there you can break. What are we gonna do? The way I see it, we got two options. We take the easy way out. No, I don't like option one. Option two, we just keep going. It ends this way for everyone sooner or later, right? Some of us just get there faster than others. But we don't quit. It's two minutes or two days. We don't get that up. I don't want to get that up. They could just be all poetic and shit and lose our minds together. What's option three? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god, and she's gonna stitch this up. With needle and thread. Do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. Oh shit. Ah! shit. You're gonna do like the back and forth, a whip stitch. What are you gonna do, kid? Oh god. so good but also a cliffhanger for you know. yeah that was so this episode obviously was the backstory to ellie getting bit and experiencing her last day her last moments with her best friend well her love yeah like you know she was totally in love with riley like you guys get that right yeah, now yeah, and if anyone wants to lose their minds over it, Ellie was gay in the game too. So yeah. spoiler. <laughs> if you guys didn't know. That that feels like information that needs to be out there, just you know, for the you know. But yeah, I thought that was a really well done episode. I just seeing Bella as Ellie has been great. 
honestly. I think she's, she's like doing so perfect for that. I think she's doing a really good job. I personally don't understand the complaints about it, but the fact that we get to see and witness Ellie experiencing things for the first time, I think that's always such a really cool thing. Yeah. Just like something as simple as an escalator. Like oh she didn't gosh. even know what the escalator was. She's like, "Oh my god, motorized stairs like yeah, they're escalators. It's amazing. And just watching her like a kid just run up and down and back and forth and just like the arcade and the merry-go-round, like that stuff, it's it's fun to watch considering the content of the show that we are watching just because of how just run down and destroyed the world is. Like yeah. there's hope. Yeah. Like it gives you a little bit of like hope in a, in a, in a situation like this. And obviously it didn't end well and Riley ends up like dying in that moment and she gets bit and just seeing just Ellie get bit and then basically her origin story of her being immune to the whole situation and essentially maybe one day proving to be more and that's the whole mission of Joel trying to get her to where they're going right. so right. <sighs> and that's where you hear Marlene for the first time yeah. and like who you know who are all these people that are helping the fireflies and yeah. stuff so I, I thought it was a really done episode I thought it was Again, like the timing of it within the first season of the show, we're getting to places very quickly, yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. And I think, again, I just think everything's very well done. I thought the mall looked fantastic. Oh, so perfect. Perfect. And just, like, I, I'm still in every zombie content, whether it's show, movie, I'm always so blown away that things still work this far into it the fact that she could flip a switch and have all the power in the mall still working i'm blown away by that like the photo they, booth how do they do that yeah. yeah the photo booth i like that it wasn't like a perfect clear picture right. because that would make no sense if it was like a perfect picture like it was a brand new photo booth or something mm-hmm. but like that not working and then having like the carousel die and just the fact that there's even still coin in the coin machines was pretty amazing. Right. Well, because you don't need money at this point because it's the apocalypse right. and money doesn't mean shit. No one's raiding that stuff. They're yeah. stealing shoes and other things and not lingerie or soap. <laughs> so I would personally like to smell fantastic. Just the idea that we got a full episode telling and showing Ellie's backstory a little bit more mm-hmm. within this world I think is fantastic. I love and it. I think it's always good when we get character development and character growth and just the idea that she was having that flashback moment while she was trying to take care of Joel and get Joel healthy so that he could get up and keep going. And the fact that she ends up finding a little, what do you call those? A spool? Mm -hmm. Spool spool of of yarn? Yeah. Yeah. Thread. Just the fact that she found a needle and thread and she's going to like sew them up. Look just like the game. (laughs) You find that shit in the game too. I just couldn't imagine like without any numbing agencies or anything like oh god like yeah. he might be in shock and it might not like he might not feel that maybe I, it, but he does it's, feel it he it's does. definitely a lot like the idea that she's sticking a needle in him right now a needle there that's not still nerve endings yeah. right there and man. it's not a needle that's made for that <laughs> So no. that that is definitely going to not feel good, and yeah, I, I anything thought, that can stop the bleeding, you know, just uh, uh, but like internal things yeah. should be sewn up as well, correct? Mm, I mean, yes. If there's that kind of damage, they got to go in and fix all. But you do what you can with what you're given under the circumstances, just to get it to stop and just keep going. And yeah, it's just it's brutal. But uh, again, I, I love episodes where we could get full character development and get just additional story behind the character and learn more about them. Because, I mean, I could just say, this isn't a spoiler or anything, this isn't the placement of this story with Ellie in the game. So I don't know if... I don't want to elaborate more on that just in case. But just the placement of this episode within the show in the first season, I think was really good because, again, it gives more backstory. It gives more history to the character. Even seeing her dealing with, like the bully at the Fedra school and like her having the two options and sounding like where, where their careers go. And the fact that Riley got sewage detail, like fuck, like I'd bounce out too. If you gave me sewage detail. Yeah. But I I do think this was very important to provide for the first season to keep people interested on, you know, who she is, where she came from and the things that she's dealt with previously. Right. 
And just, I think, it's, again, even if it's just as simple as seeing the first time she got bit, like the whole story's been around her bite. And now you've seen how it happened, yeah. why it happened, and they were out doing something that they probably shouldn't have been doing. Like, as, as much as you want to be able to go out and have fun and experience the mall yeah. in this time, it's just not safe. It doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, there was a consequence this time. And it was bound to happen because that motherfucker was growing. Uh, he was there. He was going to get her at some point. Yeah. Like, I mean, she was technically leaving the next day. But the fact that she was kind of camped out there and staying there for a bit, like, that was that's pretty wild. So, again, visually, the show continues to be amazing. Just the delivery by the performers, amazing. I think they're absolutely nailing it on all aspects of, of what you would expect from a show like this. Correct. So yes. I think it's been fantastic. Same. Any I other think, thoughts? No, I do not. <laughs> all right. You guys leave all your comments. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.